Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Absolute Dua and today I'll be doing the Get to Know the Artist tag. This is actually inspired by the Get to Know Me tag and uh, I was actually inspired by another YouTuber. So without further ado, I have like 25 questions here. I'll be reading off this piece of paper. So the questions I'll be answering will be down in the description box. So let's get right into it. Question number one. What inspired your channel name? My channel name is actually inspired by my full name, which is Absolute McGregor Jasper Du. It will be on the screen. So, uh, I was the inspiration. <laughs> what inspired you to start your channel? I was actually inspired by three YouTubers. The first one is Mark Krilly. He actually does tutorials on animation, manga, and realistic drawings. He actually has tutorial books on drawing, and he also has like graphic novels as well. The second one is Drawy Jazzler. Drawy Jazzler does the same thing as Mark Krilly. He's also an artist. And the third one is Young Don the Sauce God. Young Don the Sauce God does story time animations. So just watching these three YouTubers do what they love actually inspired me since I could also draw. And like, you know what? I have to start my channel because I was actually learning a lot from them and I decided to start my own. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. Where do you live? Currently, at the time of this recording, I am staying in Harare, Zimbabwe. When did you start making art? I actually started making art when I was around 7, 8 years old. I actually started, uh, I was actually good at coloring at first. I couldn't like sketch my own drawing, so I started out with coloring. And then when I was around 8 and 9, that's when I could draw and color my own stuff. Question 6. Did you attend art classes in primary and secondary school? In primary, at my school, art was a mandatory subject, so I did art in primary. And in secondary school, uh, art wasn't like, uh, like a mandatory subject, so I think the only thing that was related to art was like an art club, so you could either go to the art club or not. It was your choice. Have you gone to art school? No, I haven't gone to art school. Are your drawings mainly focused on cartoons or do you have other things in mind? I do have other things in mind. I actually want to venture into hyper-realistic drawings, open pen art, paintings, and hopefully wood carvings. So yeah, I do have other things in mind. Do you regularly use a sketchbook? No, I don't have a sketchbook. It's just that uh, sometimes I actually don't have the time to actually like draw every day. So. And like when you have a sketchbook, you have to like draw like every day. It doesn't matter how long it draws, like maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes. It's just that uh, I actually don't draw every day. That's why I don't have a sketchbook. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. What inspires you? I'm actually inspired by what is around me, be it so the nature, the people around me, other artists and the movies and series I watch. That's what inspires me. You can only choose one. Still life, landscape or portraits. Mm, I would definitely choose portraits. What is your favorite medium? My favorite medium would be colored pencils. Least favorite medium. I actually don't have like uh, the medium that I hate because I mostly do art using colored pencils so I have much to learn. Do you listen to music while creating? If so, what? Yes, I do listen to music uh, from hip hop, pop, R&B, and instrumentals. I can actually listen to like uh, maybe guitar medleys, piano medleys, and it actually depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. But sometimes I can draw with music, sometimes I can draw without music. So it just depends on the day. Favorite part of the creative process? I would say my favorite part is the coloring process, like the part where you have to like put color to the drawing, just bringing it, bring the the art to life. That's my favorite process. 
Least favorite part of the creative process? I would say getting started. Like when you have a blank piece of paper, you don't know what you want to draw, or maybe I know what I want to draw, but I don't know like where to start. And uh, sometimes when like when I like sketching, and then you erase too much, and you end up tearing the paper. That's my least favorite part of the creative process. Are you more likely to plan or jump right in? I have to plan actually. Since nowadays I draw and record for you guys, I have to like plan like what I want to draw and sometimes I have to take record of uh, how long it takes for me to to like finish a specific drawing including the editing part. So yes, I have to plan everything from the drawing to the editing. How many hours do you spend making art? I would say per sitting I can draw for like 2 to 3 hours Then I take a break That's how long I can go How long does it take to create such a piece? This is actually directed to a video I made for Futurama It's called Futurama Fan Art Drawing You can uh, check it out on the channel That one took me about 11 hours to complete Yeah, I you know right? Are you obsessed with art supplies? Yes very much. Since I am an artist, I am completely obsessed. Every time I see an art shop, I just get the sudden urge to just get in there and uh, see what they have. And sometimes I actually end up buying some art supplies, so just to like test them out to see like uh, what they can produce, and uh, and also to actually add to my art collection. So <laughs> why not, right? Do you think that someone can be talented at art? Yes, there are people who are actually talented at art. It's like they can learn different art techniques faster than others. And then there are those who have to keep on putting the effort to actually continue learning and evolving as an artist. And uh, this doesn't just apply to art itself. This applies to any parts of your life. If you want to see progress, you have to be willing to put in the efforts. Why do you make art? I make art because it's a fun activity and uh, it's also a stress relief. It's kind of like you can sit for hours just drawing and uh, not thinking of anything else and at the end you just produce like an amazing piece and uh, it's just a satisfying feeling to be just holding uh, something that you have created all on your own. So that's why I do art. But where do you see yourself in the next few years with the channel? I'll be doing uh, more vlogs. I think I'll be recording uh, like you'll be seeing more of me on the channel or maybe I'll just record like going to buy our supplies and I'll be drawing live. I'll be doing more live streams like more frequently. So this is from one of you guys and he says, I saw that your first video was Lost Mobile. What's your take on that? <laughs> That's actually a very good question actually. And by the way, Lost Mobile is actually a role playing game and it's available on Google Play so I'll put the link down in the description so if you're interested in gaming go check it out it's a very cool game so when I started out this channel I actually wanted to do gaming and art yes two things and uh, so the first two videos actually released were on Lowe's mobile and uh, the third one was actually a drawing video and it's called the uh, Fortnite Thanos drawing so I'll just put the link down in the description as well so you can go and check it out so I actually noticed that people were actually watching the Fortnite for Nathaniel's video than the Lost Mobile video, so I decided to rebrand and become an art channel. So that's what happened. And the last question of the day How can we, as your subscribers, help you achieve your dreams? Besides subscribing, of course. <laughs> so, what you can do is uh, you can always uh, like my videos and uh, don't forget to leave your comments and your opinions. If you want to connect with me further, you can do that via. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So I'll just put my social media links down in the description so you can go and check them out. And uh, if you have anything that you think I might be interested in uh, drawing, just feel free to send me via those platforms because the more I draw, the more I evolve, the more I make quality content for you guys. And this brings us to the end of this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching and don't forget to watch other content on this channel. And after doing that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to be updated for future content. Without being said, I hope to see you very soon.